Hi and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman, a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This podcast is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and health and live from a place of prevention. Let's get into today's episode. Jen, and I wanted to share something that I'm actually not proud of in my life, but it's an absolute true story. And it follows on from a post that I did yesterday. Our mind can create anything, the good, the bad, the ugly. And this is a true story that comes back from when I was about 20 years old. Maybe, yeah, not even quite probably 21 yet, but very true story. So I I posted yesterday about how, you know, what we think about, we bring about. And uh, one of my favorite books is a book by Dr. John Harrison, which is all about loving your disease because uh, our our thinking plays such a huge part with our health and I wanted to follow that up with a, a story a true story and, and for real I'm not proud of it but I didn't understand any of this in those days so when I was about 20 years old I was recently very had soon come out of the army and I was working uh, at Toyota in Brisbane on the like the vehicle vehicle assembly plant and I remember I was also into Stephen King books and I remember there was a Stephen King book that came out uh, called Thinner, which is about the story where, you know, this, this um, a gypsy points a finger at someone and, and they live into the, the thought that is suggested to them. And I'm not going to share all that, this, that now. That's a, a whole other story, but an interesting book. Anyway, there was uh, at work, there was this woman who she was always happy and cheery. And I was, I was a dick in those days. I really was. I was fresh out of the army. I was one of the boys and did everything to kind of just fit in and be one of the boys and had no idea who I was yet. I was just a bloody kid. Anyway, this woman, she'd always arrive at work, happy, happy, cheery, cheery. Yay, I'm top of life. And, and uh, just being a dick one day, you know, with the guys, we kind of planned that we would, every for the next morning, Every time someone walked past her, we would share, we would say something like, wow, you okay? You look a bit tired. Or wow, you can, you look, you look a bit off color. And we did that every morning. It was like half a dozen of us. Not every morning, that morning. And we all played the same game. Do you know what? Before lunch, like late morning tea time, we actually had her vomiting. She had arrived at work, strong, fit and healthy, on top of life, feeling great. But through all of us just being dicks and feeding her the thoughts that she looked sick and not on top of life, she became sick. She really became sick. And at the time, I'm just like, yeah, how kind of powerful are we and all that kind of stuff. I was a kid. I didn't understand. I was a bloody adult, but I was a dick. And I didn't understand what it was. And through then, through years later, starting to study to be a naturopath, I really came to understand the power of our mind and how we think and how it shows up physically in our body. So in my book, The Seven Steps to Sanity, I talk about the triangle of health. I talk about how uh, there, there always has to be three elements present for us to get sick of some description. And so the first part is our attitudes and beliefs. That's how we've learned to be. It's, it's all our beliefs and all the stuff from, you know, our, what our parents told us as kids and our school teachers and the environment. It kind of gives us those, those rules to live by and those rules become beliefs at which we're allowed to choose to change as we grow up, by the way. Uh, have a look at the book, The Four Agreements. If you have not read that yet, I really recommend it. Anyway, so that's one point of the triangle. The next one is the physical thing or the circumstance. The circumstance is part of it as well. But then the third point of the triangle is your emotional being, kind of how you feel that day. So imagine when those guys came in, although the, the guys and I were dicks that day, for that woman to get sick, because she came into work seemingly absolutely really well. Uh, she had attitudes and beliefs about life and all that kind of stuff like we all bring to the forefront. Pretty rare to find anyone who keeps them on a 100% positive state all the time. And so to get sick, we need all three points of the triangle to manifest in a, a negative state. And that's what brings across, you know, or feeds physical illnesses. So the second part of the triangle, which is the physical or the circumstance, the circumstance was us being a bunch of dicks saying to her, wow, you, you know, you look a bit off. You okay? You feel you're a bit tired today? You look a bit sick. You're a bit pasty. What's going on? Uh, so us doing that really brought that 
into her mind as a negative thing. Wow, I must, you know, mustn't, mustn't, uh, must feel a bit crook. Yeah, and just she really kind of took that on. And then the third point of the triangle is our emotional state at the time. And bottom line, if we can stay on top of our emotions and stay positive the majority of the time, it helps keep us well. It really helps keeps us well because we're in that when we're in that state, people can say that kind of stuff to us, and we won't take it. To, we don't take it on personally, which again is one of the four agreements from the book, The Four Agreements, which I haven't got on my desk at the moment. Uh, and that yeah, people can say stuff to it, and and we don't take it on. But there was enough evidence for that woman to gather that day that told her that she looked sick and she 100% took it on. She bought into it, not consciously, but she absolutely got sick when she was not sick a few hours ago. And I just wanted to share this because day in, day out, people say stuff, we read stuff, we choose, we really do choose if we take it on or not, or if we don't. And our choice in that is going to have us either physically manifest what's going on or, or, or not like so you know really consciously how we get up and the first things we feed our brain that that's all part of what helps to set up the day it's like put on your force field keep your you know keep your mind in your own game don't take on all that I don't watch the news I, I don't read newspapers I don't do that stuff because I don't want that stuff in my brain influencing how I am and my triangle because I want to stay well so I just wanted to share how an experience for me as a 20 year old, not understanding anything about health in those days, really uh, has influenced my life later on because I don't have any regrets in life, but I sure have some things I would not do again. And I would not just be one of the boys and kind of go along with that and be a dick like I did as a 20 year old. I like to, you know, I feel like I've grown beyond that nowadays, but I totally did it. And um, if I ever passed that woman, I would love to apologize to her. But it was it was a big learning experience for me and I just wanted to throw that out there there is so much stuff going on in, in life at the moment our brain is being fed so much everything is trying to grab our attention and it, and it's not even just um, you know social media and stuff it is it's the news it's we've all got opinions I live in Queensland we've had rain and rain and rain for nine months all that kind of stuff impacts us and we get to buy into it negatively affecting our health or not so I just wanted to throw it out there, something to have a think about. How do you, or what do you do to put up your kind of uh, defense forces so that you don't take that stuff on? For me, I'm really conscious about what I feed my brain. So I listen to audio books, I read books. And the book, The Four Agreements, is the book that actually had the biggest influence in me uh, really getting that it's my choice whether I take something on or not. So I really recommend that book if you have not read it yet. Um, it, this is a simple life hack that I promise changed my life 30 odd years ago when I studied to be a naturopath and started to understand this stuff. But just be aware, what, what are you feeding your brain on a daily basis that could be done differently to manifest a different result in your body? Because I promise it doesn't matter what the illness is, there is an emotional component every time, every time. And so if we can look at the emotions first and come from a place of prevention, do things to keep your brain in check. I've never listened to podcasts and that as much as I, I do nowadays since the last couple of years because we're just being bombarded with so much negativity, been so conscious about doing that stuff and building my own fortification so that I can do with life. So it's a little life hack that I do, thought I'd share it here today. Take it on or don't, it's your choice, but don't be that dick like I was when I was a 20 year old and really, you know, use what we think about badly. That's it, see ya. See you then. I wanna thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed my podcast, please let me know by leaving a review on Apple Podcast every month. I draw one lucky person who leaves a review on Apple Podcasts to have a free one hour consultation with me. Be sure to subscribe to the show wherever you're tuning in from so that you always catch the next episode. And if you would like to receive a free copy of my Feed Your Body ebook, simply click the link in the comments below. Join my newsletter and we will get that free ebook sent to you. I welcome your emails and you can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. 
Until next time, remember, when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.